fire. Hey what's up guys, Fulton Hockey here and today I'm going to give you a step by step tutorial on how to obtain the exclusive Oni Genji skin, spray, and portrait for your Overwatch game. So those are these three items right here and in order to obtain them you have to participate in the Nexus challenge which is currently being hosted by Blizzard. So during this challenge which lasts from November 15th until January 4th of next year you have to basically play 15 games of Heroes of the Storm with a friend in order to get these three items on your battle.net account. So I want to go ahead and highlight that. 15 games, you don't have to win, you don't have to lose. You just have to play the games and complete them with a friend on Heroes of the Storm in order to get all three of these exclusive Genji items to your Overwatch game. Now this has to be done during this time frame, otherwise it will not count towards your game completion and you won't be able to complete the Nexus challenge itself. So again, November 15th all the way until January 4th, that is when you want to start going for this Genji skin, spray, and portrait. Outside of that, this event will not work and you will not be able to obtain all this cool Genji content. Now, if you haven't made a Battle.net account, I'm going to provide all these links in the description below, but basically you want to go to Battle.net, make a free Battle.net account, and then you want to look at this link here, and it shows you how to link your Battle.net account to either your consoles or PC version of Overwatch. No matter which one you play on, you can actually link three different accounts on PS4, Xbox One, and PC all to one Battle.net account so you don't have to worry about making multiple accounts. So whenever you have your Battle.net account set up and you've linked it to your accounts on PC or the consoles, you actually want to download the desktop application for Battle.net. So what this does is basically it creates a hub for you to play all your games on. So if I'm playing Overwatch on the PC, I can just open the Battle.net application, this window should pop up, and then I can play Overwatch through this app. Or I can go to Heroes of the Storm real quick, have it downloaded, and then play Heroes of the Storm. Now if you don't know how to download Heroes of the Storm, I'm going to have this link in the description below as well. You basically just want to go to the site, click on Heroes of the Storm, hit Play Now, and it's a free downloadable game. So whenever you hit Play Now, you should be able to download it in your download section, open up this client, install it on your computer, and it will ultimately install on the Battle.net application as shown right here. So whenever you hit Play, you can go ahead play Heroes of the Storm, find some new friends, and then finish 15 games during November 15th until January 4th in order to actually complete the Nexus Challenge. Now for the remainder of this video, I'm actually going to cut to a pre-recorded section that shows you how to use the voice channel feature on the Battle.net application so that you can actually talk to players while you're playing Heroes of the Storm because it's almost impossible to find people that you can add on your friends list on Heroes of the Storm if you're not talking to them or if you can't message them. So for the remainder of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. If you guys want to go ahead and stop watching at this point because you understand how this application works, then that's perfectly okay, I understand. But if you guys don't understand how the Battle.net application works or how Heroes of the Storm plays through whenever you're trying to find friends to add onto your friends list, then by all means, continue watching this video and enjoy learning how to use this application to its fullest. Okay, so for this part of the video, I'm actually going to showcase how to utilize the voice channel feature for your Battle.net application. This feature actually allows you to talk to players worldwide in your own chat channel, or you can even text to them through your keyboard and message them as you're playing a game. So it's a good way, instead of using Skype or any other voice talking application, to kind of communicate with your team and your friends online while you're playing Blizzard based games. So we're going to have our Battle.net application on our desktop and we're going to open it up. So once you open it up, you're going to want to go to your friends list in the upper right hand corner. I currently have three people added right here that are online. My friend Mal is actually going to help us out with this tutorial. So I'm going to create a channel right here. So this channel is going to be used to kind of invite all of your friends to it so that you guys can communicate while you're playing the game. So you're going to select his name and then you're going to send invite. So after you do that, you can just choose all your other friends and invite them as well. And once they're invited, they can join the channel and talk to you using their microphone or through text, for example, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and enable my microphone. Okay. How's it going, Mal? Pretty good. Yeah, that's what's up. And as you can tell, he's talking. We have his text over here. So it's a really good way to kind of stay in communication with your friends while you're playing these games. 
So we're going to go ahead and open up Heroes of the Storm and showcase that this does work while you're playing these games and it doesn't exit out of the window uh, during gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and hit play. Okay, so whenever the game opens up, we're going to go to the play in the upper left hand corner and then you'll notice that you'll have four empty slots in which players can join you. For Heroes of the Storm, you basically want to play with one of your friends in order to get the Oni skin for Genji. So you have to play 15 games and in order to do that you have to have friends. So we want to go ahead and find out how to add friends. And as you can tell here in this general chat, there are random people just typing away and you can even type back to them. And basically any of these people can join your game and you can add them as a friend. You can even see all their names over here on the right hand corner. And we're just going to find someone random. Let's just say this guy. We're going to right click on his name and we're going to hit add friend. So this is a quick and easy way to go ahead and get friends really quick. Just choose some random people. Go ahead and right click on them, add friend. And whenever you add friends, you can go to your friend icon here and see if they've accepted your friend request. If they have, like my buddy Mal has, you can just click on him and then invite him to the game whenever. You can even add friends specifically through typing in their gamer tag up here. So let's just say I want to add Mal. I would add type uh, Mal up here and then I would get his tag entered in so I can send him a friend request and we can play together. So if you have a buddy that's out also going for this Genji skin, you can just type in their tag once they've made their account and signed up and then invite them to your game so you can go ahead and play your 15 games in order to get the skin. Now if you want to invite other people to join your game and add them through that sense, you can hit I am looking for a party. This allows other people to kind of see that you want them to join your game. It's kind of like a public server in a sense that you want people to join your game so that you'll have other randoms to play with and in that sense you can actually add them as friends in order to help you get this kind of achievement of getting Genji's skin through the 15 games as you're playing with your friends. So that's basically it. Uh, Mal, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here, bud. Okay, alright. So yeah, you can just talk with your buddies. Uh, Mal's actually super into Tracer. How's that flat ass? Like, would you judge it on a scale of 1 to 10? Like 2 out of 10? 8 It'd out of 10? like 12. 12, dude, it's so it's flat like though. Booty. Like, Widowmaker's where it's at. I don't know, man. Like, I'd smash that. I'd put a bag over her head. I'd smash that. Tracer, I don't know. She has the I legs at the least. I think it's the accent that gets me, man. <laughs> Dang. All right, that's true. That's true. She kind of looks like a dude, so I'm not sure if I'd smash that. But yeah, um, this is just kind of an example. You can talk to your friends as you're playing. Uh, people are going to want to join up again if you have this option clicked. And you basically just want to play with any of your friends that you've added and play 15 games in order to get the Genji Oni skin. So I think I've covered everything I wanted to go over in this video. But I just wanted you guys to know that if you have any issues or troubleshooting problems that need to be answered, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. With that said, I want to give a huge shout out to all my buddies on Heroes of the Storm. Without these guys' help, I definitely would not have been able to complete this tutorial, let alone explain all this good stuff to you guys about the Battle.net application, the voice feature, and even how to play Heroes of the Storm and how to navigate through it. So all that has come from their knowledge, and they are willing to help any of you viewers complete the Nexus Challenge on Heroes of the Storm. So if you want to quickly get friends and finish the Nexus Challenge by playing 15 games with anybody, then go ahead and add all these people on screen right now, and they'll gladly help you whenever this event begins. So that's it, guys. That's this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.